Hey, Maximize Living family, this is Dr. Ryan Sousley. This is the next step in the top 10 tips to get in the best shape of your life. And today, I've got a confession. Uh, I haven't been getting enough, getting enough sleep, and it really, really impacts your fitness level and your ability to perform and work out hard and, and recover so that you're able to work out multiple times a week. And I know I'm not the only one. Research shows that the average American only gets about six and a half hours of sleep every night, and Studies show that if you get less than seven and a half consistently, uh, it really, really throws off your human growth hormone levels and your testosterone levels and your, and your body's ability to lower cortisol. And what that means for you is cortisol is your body's stress hormone. So obviously, the more stress you have, <clears throat> the more that impacts your health. It decreases your energy, decreases uh, long-term immune function, suppresses proper digestion, it affects blood pressure, it affects uh, energy for working out, muscle repair. It's just a bad deal. You don't want cortisol. You want cortisol if you're getting chased by a bear in the woods because that's stressful and you need to save your life. But from day to day, if, you're, if your cortisol levels are chronically high, it's going to mess with you in a big way. Growth hormone and testosterone do almost the exact opposite. They help build and repair muscle. They help increase your metabolism. They help increase long-term immunity uh, and just lower blood pressure. Everything gives, gives you energy. Um, and so when you work out and you don't have enough sleep, obviously you can't push yourself. And I'll be honest with you, lately I've only, I've only been getting about six hours of sleep. And I can really feel the difference. And I'm getting ready for an Ironman. And so it affects my workouts. It affects my, my morning time. Like in the morning, I normally set my alarm for 5. I've been hitting the snooze two or three times, getting up at 5.30, 5.40, which means I only have about five or ten minutes to spend in the Bible and prayer time. And so, you know, if you're not doing that stuff every day, it just you're setting yourself up for whatever. And obviously... The world's not just going to hand us whatever we want. We got to go out and get it. So, getting in that proper mindset, that proper state is huge. But it also cuts into my workout time. Just from a logistical standpoint, you know, that's 20, 30, 40 minutes extra working out that I don't have to do. And then I'm tired throughout the day. So, I have to do something like coffee after lunch or something like that. And it uh, just messes with your adrenal glands. So, my encouragement to you today is, you know, take a hard look in the mirror, ask yourself, how many hours of sleep you're getting every night. If you're getting less than seven consistently, that's a big problem. You want to shoot for seven and a half to eight. I'm right there in the boat with you, so I commit to improving that myself. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. This has been the next step in the top 10 tips to get in the best shape of your life. Stay tuned for the next one.